Howdy! I am honored to congratulate you on the completion of your course of study at Texas A&M University. This is a special time amidst extraordinary circumstances. Let me begin by saying that this is not a commencement ceremony. As you know, on March 17th, we announced the postponement of this ceremony due to the pandemic and resulting in-person restrictions. I have chosen to wear my regalia to honor each of you, our beloved Aggie student graduates. I wear it also to symbolize hope. We want to welcome you to return to Texas A&M to walk in a future commencement exercise when the university is able to return to this important tradition. We will continue to closely monitor public health guidance and keep you informed of options and scheduling. Your academic achievement and willing sacrifice this semester has proven to all of us that the Aggie spirit remains an undeniable force for good. By practicing social distancing and working with your professors to complete your studies in new ways, you have helped to slow the exponential spread of this virus for the great benefit of the health and safety for our campuses, our communities, and each of us in the Aggie family. For that, I thank you. Today is about your successful completion of academic requirements, a wonderful milestone, and the conferral of your degree. Today, we acknowledge the accomplishment and commitment of our Texas A&M students at the doctoral, master's, and bachelor's levels in College Station, as well as at our branch campuses in Galveston, Texas, and Doha, Qatar, and our educational sites and professional schools located around Texas. I speak on behalf of deans, department heads, faculty, and university administration who acknowledge your demonstration of the Aggie spirit and salute your academic achievement with this video and official conferring of degrees. Joining in this conferral of degrees and celebratory video are Chancellor John Sharp to offer his warm regards, Elaine Mendoza, Chairman of the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System to officially convey authority for President Young to award your degrees today, and President Michael K. Young to confer degrees and offer a charge to you as graduates. But first, we believe it is fitting that you hear from one of your own, the 2019-2020 student body president, Mikey Gillette, who has completed his course of study in finance from the Mays School of Business. Mikey, would you please share our invocation? Please join me in a posture of prayer, self-reflection, or appreciation. We come together today with gratitude, having met the challenges, attained the knowledge, gained the experience, and achieved our chosen goal to graduate this day from our beloved Texas A&M University. Today is not just about our individual sense of achievement, but also about all that has brought us to this time and place. We give thanks for all the friends, family, professors, and mentors who have surrounded us with love and support and given their entire selves in teaching and showing us what it means to be an Aggie. As these degrees are conferred, let all engaged in celebrating your success resolve to honor all the values we have come to know in the Aggie spirit. Excellence, integrity, leadership, loyalty, respect, and selfless service. May we go out today to work alongside with our fellow Aggies and citizens to serve our communities, nation, and the world for the greater good of all. Amen. Howdy, I'm John Sharp, Chancellor of the Texas A&M University System, and it's my honor and privilege to congratulate you, the May 2020 graduates. I commend you for the fortitude, determination, and perseverance that you have exhibited during these trying and challenging times. Obviously, this is not the ceremony you had hoped to attend, but this is certainly a time we will not soon forget. Had we been together at a graduation ceremony today, this is the point that I would have reminded you that none of us knows what all the future holds for you as you go into the next chapter of your life. Today's pandemic is a harsh reminder of that truth. As college graduates, you are more prepared than most to adapt to change, and change will come many, many times in your life. I have no doubt you're prepared for it, thanks in large part to what you learned during your time with us. 
So on behalf of the Texas A&M system faculty, staff, and administration, congratulations to you, your families, friends, and loved ones who celebrate with you today in person or in spirit. Gigum. Hello, I am Elaine Mendoza, Chairman of the Board of Regents for the Texas A&M University System. I am honored to bring greetings on behalf of the entire Board of Regents. Today is a special day. While this may not be the graduation you hope to experience, nothing, nothing can take away from you the significance of earning your degree and graduating with your diploma. This is big. Do you remember the excitement and anticipation you felt the day you found out you were accepted? The anxiousness of the first day of your class, the joys and surely some fear and heartache you felt, the friendships and transformational learning experience you had finding your way to this very day. Your hard work paid off. You did it. Graduates, we are counting on you to do great things. We all should feel better knowing that you, each of you, who have navigated unprecedented challenges to finish what you began, will be our neighbors, leaders, and visionaries. So live with purpose, Godspeed, and congratulations. Now by the authority of the Texas A&M University System Board of Regents, it is my sincere pleasure to authorize Texas A&M University President Michael K. Young to confer the respective academic degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, privileges, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining thereto. Thank you, Regent Mendoza, Chancellor Sharp, and Mikey Gillette. Finally, the moment you have all been waiting for, the conferral of degrees. It is my privilege to ask all degree candidates to rise as able. President Young, based upon the recommendation of the faculty of Texas A&M University, I certify that these candidates have fulfilled all of the academic requirements necessary for receiving a diploma. I am honored to present them to you for the conferral of their respective degrees. Thank you, Provost Fairkey. Upon the recommendation of the faculties of this university and by the authority vested in me as president by the state of Texas and the Board of Regents of the Texas A&M University System, I hereby confer upon you individually the degree to which you're entitled with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Let me be the very first to congratulate the great and most recent graduate class of Texas A&M University. Congratulations to you and your families, and thank you for all you do and all you are. Now, if you're a mother or father, grandparent, aunt, uncle, anyone feeling particularly maternal or paternal towards our graduates today, or a sibling, guardian, mentor, whether watching this video with your graduate or apart from your graduate, could I ask you to stand up and let us thank you? That's right. Those of you who are family or a mentor to the graduate, you know, please stand up wherever you may be as you watch this and let us express our thanks and appreciation. I honor you. I personally thank you for helping this graduate find their way to Texas a and And again, honor you for your important support that led to this degree today. Thank you. In a moment, we will conclude this conferral of degrees with a special video marking powerful images and events that happened during your time at Texas A&M University. It's staggering to think about all that has happened. Many of you participated in student-led volunteer and leadership opportunities, the big event, carpool, fish camp, student government, the Corps of Cadets, shared experiences that I want to assure you bettered our university by your very presence and your gifts. And in your participation, I hope you'll agree that you also develop skills that will serve you throughout your lifetime as you serve others. I marvel at your resilience, the way that the love in your heart rises not only in good times, but also in challenging times, be it a hurricane, a thousand year flood, and now a worldwide pandemic. 
I marvel at your enduring commitment to the success of each other in the communities and state and nation and world you serve. I also know that some of you are members of the Corps of Cadets, the Keepers of the Spirit, who are commissioning today to serve in the U.S. military. We're so proud of your achievements in this regard as well. Congratulations and Godspeed as you serve our great nation. We hope to see you again in Aggieland, on the graduation stage and other times as well. But in the meantime, congratulations to all of you and God bless you all. Welcome class of 2020 to this celebration of your graduation and congratulations. I have only three minutes to give you my comments and so I'll jump right into them. But I have to start by saying how proud I am of all of you. Proud of the accomplishments you've made here, both on campus and within our department. And I don't just mean getting through this very difficult semester with all of its unique challenges and stresses. I'm talking about the four or so years for those of you receiving your bachelor's degrees that you've spent here meeting all of the trials, the labs, the exams, the projects required to graduate from the number one undergraduate petroleum engineering department in the world. I know it wasn't easy, but I'm sure it has been both fun and rewarding. For the master's and doctoral degree recipients, you have also navigated the challenges and the stresses of the advanced coursework the research and the writing, and now you have a graduate degree which will open many doors for you throughout our global industry. Which brings me to what may be on a lot of your minds, the recent state of our industry and the job market. I don't have time to describe what I'm sure you've already been told many times about how the downturn will be short-lived and our industry will bounce back, but I have to say that it will. I graduated in 1984 with my petroleum degree from A&M, and minus a, a certain virus, the industry was in a similarly deep depression. I took a job as a field engineer at half pay from Schlumberger just to get my hands dirty and to make some contacts. It was far from my dream job, but it was a critical step in launching my career. 33 years later, I retired from Schlumberger as executive vice president. My point is that you will come across many opportunities. Some will be your dream job, most will not be. You may have to sacrifice and go down a path like I did that makes you wonder why you struggled so hard to achieve a petroleum degree in the first place. But there's nothing more important than taking that first role and getting any experience you can in establishing contacts. And you are very well equipped. In fact, you're the best equipped now to take whatever opportunity you get and turn it into a long and successful career. I have no doubt that this class of 2020 will continue the Aggie petroleum engineer tradition of having a huge impact on the upstream oil and gas sector, and I look forward to hearing of your successes. Thank you. Doctor of Philosophy, Petroleum Engineering. 
Murtada Ali I. al Shak. Pedro Cavalcante de Sousa. Rong Queen Chin. Mohit Doli. Jinwei Hawang. Bryce Yoon Shik Kim. Nefeli George Meridis. Denis Igorovich Zubarev. Master of Engineering, Petroleum Engineering. Charles Lee Coggins. Anthony George Giabalvo. Elena Huff. Michael H. E. Lee. Hilary Marie Lumpkins. John Edward Nelson. Joseph W. Swearman. Cameron Scott Tyler Van. Juan Andres Yuskataji Diaz. David Vincent Waters. Master of Science, Petroleum Engineering. Nuit Anon Traxakul. Fuqua Bai. Eric Wayne Bryan. Wee Dong Shin. David Stephen Fulford. Mikhail Gordica. Kijun Jin. Prakar Sakar. Gabriel Ray Siegel. Shen Qing Yao. Bachelor of Science, Petroleum Engineering. Muhammad Abbas. Mujahid Atman in Alhulela. Thomas A. Alton Tudor. Grace Pepe Atama. Brooklyn M. Basega. Drew Aaron Baker. Andrea Carolina Benavides Perez. Jacob Michael Borta. Arthur A. Carriger. Madeline Nicole Sigelski. Marco Antonio Serra. Charles Jacob Collier. Colin Patrick Colpoise. John Chandler Cohn. Jared Glenn Corditz. Adam Mitchell Croy. Megan Elizabeth Croy. Claire Nicole DeCure. Cameron Paul DeCombre. Garrett Dwayne Drake. Michael Steele Freimeyer. Jordan Alexander Garcia. Colin Lee Gray. Stephen Blake Grooms. Edwin Hernandez. Robert Taylor Heron IV. Bailey Peyton Jackson. Fabian Anthony Jimenez. Brandon Joseph John Peter. Shalin Raj Kaur. 
Han Jun Kim. Bradley Joshua Clawander. Georgie A. Kopetsev. Ryan James Kunist. Sekai Long. Kinapong Lim Chuchua. Connor James Lofton. Zachary L. Mangum. Daniel Elijah Mansfield. Travis Joseph Kent Martin. Angelica Martinez Mayen. Mohammed Rafat Masama. Adele and Jennifer Mauna. Kenneth Thomas Mount. Nai Wynn. Rafael Christian Nunez III. Brennan Russell Uphelt. Luis Ryan Ortega. Darish Paramas Vavan. Andres Alfonso Para. London Hasseltine Patterson. Zachary James Petter. Jade Elise Poxen. Matthew Joseph Reddy. Ricardo Alonso Reyes Garcia. Reggie Asad Rodriguez. Justin William Sayasif. Jacqueline Sedler. Noah Anderson Shallop. Isaac Aaron Schrand. William Thomas Sladek. Rachel Nicole Smith. Blaine Everett Stapleton. William Mason Sutton. Atif Saeed. Hearth Zion Thomas. Joel Colin Torres. Samuel Frederick Townen. Jacob William Turco. Daniel Lee Vandiver. John Cameron Walsh. Gary Ng Cowen. Michael Wijaya. Rayleigh Thomas Williams. Stephen James Wynn. Ming Chuang Wong. Howdy. On behalf of the Association of Former Students and our worldwide Aggie Network, congratulations on earning your degree from Texas A&M. Throughout the last two months, you have handled the disruption of this semester in alignment with our core values of excellence, integrity, leadership, loyalty, respect, and selfless service. These values which you take with you are constants that you can rely on throughout your lifetime. So too is your connection to the Aggie Network and the Association of Former Students. For 141 years, the Association of Former Students has provided critical and tangible financial support to our university, which is unmatched and unrivaled by any alumni organization in the world. Our organization was created, nurtured, and preserved by the generations of Aggies who walked our campus before you, and you now join their ranks in service and support. The association you inherit today was founded and exists to promote the interest and welfare of Texas A&M 
and to perpetuate the ties of camaraderie formed during college days. It is my privilege to officially induct and welcome you into the Association of Former Students of Texas A&M University. To signify this important transition, I ask you to take a look at your Aggie ring. Our ring represents our core values of excellence, integrity, leadership, loyalty, respect, and selfless service, and reminds us of the vast Aggie network to which we all proudly belong. Since earning your Aggie ring, your class year has faced you. At this time, I ask you to remove your ring and turn it so that your class year now points outward. This simple act symbolizes your first step towards the future as a proud former student of Texas A&M. Standing with you as you take this step are your outstanding Texas A&M education, our core values, and our worldwide Aggie network. As you pursue life's journey, wear your Aggie ring with pride and remember that you are forever a Texas Aggie. We encourage you to stay connected to Texas A&M by supporting the Association of Former Students, joining and serving a local A&M club, and participating in muster and A&M club activities. We look forward to celebrating your achievements soon during our all Aggie graduation celebration and to being a part of your lifelong affiliation with Texas A&M. Remember, future generations of Aggies are counting on your support. I know you will be there for them just as others were there for you. Congratulations and gig'em.